Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday. Welcome to mindfulness. And I'm wondering, raise your hand or use your applause or your thumbs up reaction buttons if you did some mindfulness over the weekend. Or maybe you showed mindfulness to someone in your life. I know I definitely did a little bit of mindfulness this weekend and I shared it with my friend and I shared my channel on YouTube so that they could do some mindfulness too. This week we're going to keep working on our balancing challenges and getting strong and stretching out and staying awake while we are working on our camp invention projects and the extra challenge for this week is for you to try being a teacher. So you're gonna practice with someone in your life, like maybe someone in your family or someone you live with, maybe someone you just talk to over the phone or through FaceTime, and you're gonna practice teaching them a breathing exercise or maybe a pose, or maybe you just wanna tell them what mindfulness is and why it's so important to you. So today we're going to review some of the stuff we learned last week. Remember mindfulness is all about paying attention, paying attention to ourselves and our experiences, but also paying attention to how we're all connected to each other. So we're going to connect to ourselves and connect to each other by doing a little heart belly breathing together to get started. It's one hand over your heart, one hand over your belly. If you want to close your eyes, you can close your eyes. Or maybe you just find a focal point, one spot that's not moving so your eyes can be nice and steady on it. Take a deep breath in, big belly. And breathing out, feel your belly fall. Breathing in. And breathing out. Noticing how you're feeling today. We'll take one more heart and belly breath. Teachers, if you want to pause, you can pause and share out feelings in your class, or maybe we just keep going for today. It's your choice. One more heart belly breath together. Okay, everybody, make your way up to stand if you have space. We're going to come into that first pose that we had learned together where our feet are parallel like the number 11, our knees are a little bit bent. What is this pose called? Do you remember what this pose is called? This pose is in all of our other poses. Take a few breaths here, see if you can remember what this pose is called. Good job, everyone. Now we're going to warm up our spine. We've usually been doing the seven directions sitting down, but we're going to try it standing up today. So first, let's start by reaching up. Big breath in, reach up, stretch along, and then as you exhale, lean yourself over to one side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean to the other side. Sometimes I feel like a blade of grass or like a banana. What do you feel like when you stretch side to side like this? Bring it back to center. So we just went up, side to side. Let's twist it out. Toss your arms side to side if you have space. So you can get a nice twist in both directions. If you don't have a lot of space, zipper your fingers together and then bring them behind your head. I like to call this the washing machine. What do you feel like when you do this pose? Twist it out, side to side. All right, we just got two more directions of the spine to stretch it out in. And today we're gonna learn something new. I like to call this sunrise, sunset. So remember, we gotta stretch back 
and we got to stretch forward and down. So we're going to pretend we're the sun, and then we're going to breathe in for sunrise, and breathe out for sunset. You can bend your knees here if you want to. Inhale, come up, sunrise. Exhale, sunset. Sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, sunset. Make sure you're going at your own pace. We're gonna do two more breaths. your mountain pose. Let's see if we remember the two balancing poses we learned last week. The first one is called the tree pose. Hands on your hips, eyes on your focal point. Shift your weight to one side, pick up one foot, and your choices are foot on the ankle, foot on the calf, skip your knee. Whoa! Put on your thigh. See what is the right spot for you today. Make sure you keep yourself safe. Do not put your foot on your knee. When you feel ready, you can grow your branches. Take a few breaths here and notice what kind of tree you feel like. We're going to switch to the other side. So when you're ready, bring your foot down to the ground, shake it out, find your mountain pose again, hands on your hips, eyes on your focal point. Move your weight into your other foot and then find the right tree pose for you on this side. Ankle, calf, skip your knee. Try the thigh. Keep your eyes steady. Keep looking at your focal point and grow your branches if you want to. If you're feeling like this is super easy for you, the next challenge is to try your tree pose with your eyes closed. Whoa, <laughs> it's really hard for me, but don't forget, if you fall, that's okay. Just smile and come right back to it. Last breath here in our tree pose. Back to mountain, shake it out a little bit. And then the last pose that we learned last week, I think, was the bird pose. So start in your mountain, step one foot forward. Open your wings, big breath in, exhale and fly. Keep your eyes on your focal point to help you balance. One more breath. Boom. Bring it back to your mountain pose and we'll switch sides. So now step your other foot forward, other foot back. Open your wings, big breath in. Exhale and fly. Breathe in and breathe out. One more breath. Come back to your mountain pose and shake it out. Nice job, everyone. See if you can teach the tree pose or the bird pose to someone at your house this week. I can't wait to hear how it goes. Start to make your way back to your seat and it's time for us to center and kind of finish up our mindful moment for this morning. Take a few waterfall breaths to help you settle in. And then you can bring your hands over your heart. Or maybe you want to just rest your hands in your lap. Do whatever feels right for you. We're just going to pay a little bit of attention to what's in our heart. So you can move your imagination into your heart or a hand to touch your heart, or maybe you can hear your heart beating. Notice what's in your heart today. Maybe there's a color in your heart. 
Maybe there's somebody in your heart. Whatever is in your heart, surround it with love. And breathe what's in your heart into your whole body. And when you breathe out, blow love out into the world. Inhaling love. And exhaling love. Notice how you're feeling now. Now it's time for our mindful listening. We're going to bring back the bowl today. Don't forget to vote through the Google form below. What is your favorite instrument? Do you like the bowl? Do you like the cymbals? Do you want to hear something new? Let me know through that Google form. All right, getting ready to listen to the beginning, middle, and end sound of this bowl. When you can't hear it anymore, remember you can raise your hand and let your class know, let your teachers know. Thank you so much for joining and have a great Monday everyone. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.